Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Unreal Engine 4 crash with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game on your Windows computer. So if you're receiving this uh, error message, which says UE4 BBQ game error. So if you're receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. First is, the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once. And after the system restart, try launching the game. Now, the next step is to close all the overclocking application. So this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So if you have MSI Afterburner running, close it. If you have Reva Tuner running, close it. So close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also uninstall VR software. So if you have any kind of VR software installed in computer, you can either close VR software if you have VR devices connected to the computer, unplug VR devices from the computer. So if you have Vive VR console, you can uninstall it. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So if this is installed on your computer, you can make a right click and then select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, you can launch the game. For similarly, if you have Steam VR, you can uninstall it. And after the uninstall, you can try launching the game. Once you're done playing the game, if you want to reinstall these VR application, you can always reinstall. Also unplug all kind of VR devices from the computer. So if you have Vive connected, you can disconnect it. So disconnecting VR software has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Now, the next step is to disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. So if you have additional controller connected, disconnect it and then launch the game. Also unplug these devices from the computer. So if you have these devices or any kind of USB devices or adapter connected to the computer which you're not using, disconnect these devices. Disconnect all the external devices which you're not using. Now also disable Steam overlay. Now for this, this is for Steam users, make a right click on the game. And then select properties. And then over here, you can see enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn this off and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have Discord running, close it. If you have GeForce Experience running, close it. So close all kinds of overlay application and then launch the game. Also try launching the game on single monitor. If you have these software running, make sure that you have you close these software or close these services in task manager. So make sure only the Steam and the game is running or only the Xbox app and the game is running. The rest close everything, including all your browsers. If you have this OBS studio running, close it. So close everything, including um, excluding the Steam and the game. Or make sure only the Steam and the game is running or only the Xbox app and the game is running. Now, the next step is to remove the undervolt. So if you have undervolted, you can be able to remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services then click on disable all then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart, restart option restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So for this make a right click on the game select properties and then over here in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then launch the game if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 so check which one is working fine for you if nothing works you can remove this and follow the next step now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file and then click on run as administrator. Also, if this does not work, you can open this BBQ game binaries win64 and then make a right click on this exe file and then click on run as administrator. Now still you are facing the problem for Steam users, you can try to run the game in compatibility mode. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties 
and then go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode first first of all try is try win, windows 8 and then click on apply click on ok make it up click launch the game from the game installation folder if that does not work this time you can try windows 7 and then click on apply click on ok make a double click and launch the game you can do the same thing over here if that does not work you can try this exe file properties and then select put a check over here so try window 8 if that does not work you can try window 7 then click on apply click on ok make a double click and launch the game still you are facing the problem then in that case you can uncheck this box apply ok and then go back and then uncheck the box from here as well uncheck this box and then follow the next step now if you have the game on xbox app if you have if you're using game pass sub subscription to launch the game in that case you can create a desktop shortcut and then launch the game as an administrator so open xbox app on your computer now over here you can find the game under most recent make a right click on the game and then select manage and over here you can see the option which says create desktop shortcut click on it now once this is done go to desktop over here you can see the game shortcut make a right click and then click on run as administrator now the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game file in steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the install files and then click on verify integrity of game files now for xbox game pass user open xbox app again make a right click on the game and then select manage and then go to files and then click on verify and repair click on yes and let the verification complete now after the verification you can try launching the game now the next step is to and this is for steam users allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus such as mcafee not on bit defender so if you have any kind of antivirus program make sure that you allow allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to update and security if you have windows 10 if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security in windows 11 on the left hand side you will find privacy and security option click on it in windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will find manage ransomware protection click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you, you will find the game folder in my case it's in different drive so open steam folder steam apps common and then open tcsm folder now select this game exe file now click on open again click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps select this start protected game and then click on open again click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps and this time open this bbq game folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open do the same thing in control panel so type in control panel in window search box and then click on control panel now click on system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now click on change settings on the top now click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select this exe file now click on open now click on add once this is added again click on allow another app browse and then select this exe file now click on open add in my case this is already added again click on browse and then open this bbq game binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open and then click on add now once the game is added over here now click on ok on the bottom and then launch the game now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website I am showing for NVIDIA, this is important, so make sure that you do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So go to NVIDIA website, now over here select your graphic card from the list, make sure that you select your graphic card over here, 
and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11 and then click on start search. Now once this is done, now scroll down and the latest one right now, the latest GeForce game ready driver is 536 period 99, click on get download and then click on download now and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now once you run exe file, you will see this screen, click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. So put a check over here and then click on next and after the clean installation, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card and this is for both Steam and Game Pass user. I provided different steps to run the game on dedicated graphic card for Steam user first. Type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on browse. Now again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Now once you open the game folder, select the game exe file, now click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Again click on browse and this time open this bbq game folder, binaries win64, select this exe file, now click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Now for Xbox Game Pass user, again type in graphics option over here. Type in graphic settings again and click on graphic settings and then over here select Microsoft Store app and then click on browse and you will find the game in the list. So find the game in the list. Once you find the game, click on it and the game will be added. Click on options, select high performance and then click on save and then launch the game. Now the next step is to increase the virtual memory. For this type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings. Now click on the first settings and then go to the advanced tab and then click on change. By default automatically manage paging file would be selected over here. Uncheck this box and then select the drive where the game is installed and then put a check on custom size and then for me this is working initial size is 1.5 into total RAM. Now check the total RAM in your computer so you can open windows settings, go to system and then go to about and then over here you can see the total RAM. In my case it's 8 gigabytes. So it might be 16 in your case so in my case it's 8 gigabyte. Now you have to convert 8 gigabyte into megabyte. For this, you open calculator on your computer. And in my case, total RAM is 8 gigabyte. We have to convert this to megabyte into 102, 1024. That is 8192 megabyte. So total RAM as per 8 gigabyte in megabyte is 8192 for me. So initial size is 1.5 into total RAM that is this is the total RAM into 1.5 that is 12288 and maximum size for me it's 3 into total RAM now total RAM is 8192 in megabyte into 3 so for me it's 24576 Enter the numbers over here, then click on set, click on OK, click on OK, and then click on apply, OK, OK. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download x86 first, and then download x64. So download both x86 and x64 and then run both the exe file. So run one exe file first. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install.
Now run the second file as well. Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install and let the installation complete. Make sure both the installation are complete and then you will see a restart option. Make sure that you restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version. But this is very important. So make sure that your windows is up to date. So open windows settings, go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart a computer and then launch the game now the next step is to update system bios now for this go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have a lenovo computer go to lenovo website if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and find the latest bios, uh, BIOS update available on the website you have to download the file and then install the latest BIOS. Now, in case of laptop, make sure before you update the system BIOS, make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. Then update the system BIOS. Now, during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's, when it's updating the system BIOS. And after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to Try window mode. If you are able to launch the game, try window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. Now go to options and then go to video. Now over here, if the resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down mode. Now if this is set to window full screen. You, you can switch to window mode, disable upscaling and image quality, you can keep it at native. Now over here, uh, preset if this is set to ultra, uh, you can try high, you can even go for medium or you can even go for low quality. And at the end over here you can see vSync, turn off the vSync and then apply the settings. So apply the settings and then check the performance. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, then restart your computer and after the system restart, reinstall the game to different drive. So if you have another SSD or HDDD. Try install the game to different drive and then check. Now, the rest of the steps are for Game Pass users. So if you have installed the game from Xbox app, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to log in with same account in Xbox app and with same account on Microsoft Store. Also make sure date, time, time zone and region is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right over here, you can see the date and time. Make sure make sure that you click make a right click on date and time. So make a right click on date and time and then click on adjust date and time. And then make sure set time automatically is set to on. Also set time zone automatically is set to on. So if this is not on, turn it on and then click on sync now. Make sure that you click on sync now. If you receive any kind of error, still you click on sync now. And once it is done, now go to time and language once again go to language and region or region and then make sure the right country is selected over here now login with same account on microsoft store and with same account on xbox app so open microsoft store on your computer and then open xbox app on microsoft store on the top right you will see your profile icon so click on your profile icon and then Now click on sign out. Again, click on sign in. Now select the right account which has the game pass. It will be asking for your PIN or password. So enter the PIN or password over here. Now once logged in, go to Xbox app. Now click on the profile icon and then click on sign out. And then click on sign in. Again, sign in. And you have to select the same account which you have selected on Microsoft Store. So click on switch account. If that is not right, then click select the correct account and then click on continue. Now, once you're logged in, now you can try to launch the game. Now, 
the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services now for this type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator so you have to make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you're opening powershell as an administrator and then click on yes to allow now copy the first command this command is provided in the video description copy the command and then paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer now copy the second command and on the same window paste the second command hit the enter key this will open microsoft store and then you will see the install option to install gaming services click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete now after the installation you can try to launch the game also make sure xbox identity provider is installed in your computer so for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here you can see get in store app for xbox identity provider click on get in store app now it will prompt you to open microsoft store so click on open microsoft store and then if xbox identity provider is not installed you will see install button in my case this is already installed so there is no button if you don't see any button ignore it that means it is already installed if you see install button install it now the next step is to start all these services now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find xbox services at the end here you can see all the xbox services make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a right click double click automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now run, make a double click on third xbox services set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now make a double click on windows update and then set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find gaming services in the list make sure gaming services are running over here if not running you can make a right click and then click on start if it is already running then stop it and then restart it once again so stop it and then restart the service make a right click then click on start again make a right click and then click on start now find microsoft store install service make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now you can try to launch the game next step is to repair or reset the game now for this you can open windows settings and then go to apps go to install apps or apps and features and over here find the game in the list or even you can search the game over here now once you see the game over here in windows 10 simply click on it and then you will see advanced option in windows 11 click on these three dots and then go to advanced option and then scroll down click on repair and after the repair try launching the game if that does not work click on reset reset and after the reset try to launch the game now once you perform reset when you go to xbox app you might see the install option so you don't have to install again you close the xbox app and then open the xbox app once again now once the xbox game is xbox app is open you can click on the game and then you will be able to see the play option now the next step is to delete microsoft store local cache file now for this go to the go to this location so open file explorer go to this pc open c drive open users folder and then open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data over here 
click on view and then select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see app data in windows 10 somewhere over here you will find the view option click on view and then somewhere over here you will find hidden items box put a check on the box and you should be able to see app data folder open app data folder now open the local folder now open packages folder and then scroll down and find microsoft windows store so over here you can see microsoft windows store underscore some alphanumeric character make a double click open this now open here you can see local cache folder make a right click and then click on delete now you can open xbox app and then launch the game next step is to install all updates in microsoft store so on the microsoft store on the bottom left here you can see library option click on library and then click on get updates once all the updates are installed now you can try to launch the game next step is to run ws reset command now for this type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset you will see this black screen for a moment it will open microsoft store now you can open xbox app and then launch the game next step is to repair or reset xbox app in microsoft store now for this type in store in windows search box and then click on app settings over here and you will see the repair option over here so click on repair click on repair and then if that does not work you can reset If that does not work you can click on reset reset do the same thing with xbox app make a right click and then go to settings or app settings so go to app settings again and do the same thing follow the same steps that is repair and reset so after the repair try to launch the game if that does not work you can reset and after the reset you can try to launch the game still you are facing the problem then run this command this command is provided in the video description copy this command and then type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you always run powershell as an administrator and then paste the command over here hit the enter key this will install all the default windows apps on your computer this process will take some time during this process you will see some errors in red color like this just ignore it and let the process complete now once the process is complete you can restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can try to uninstall the game make a right click then click on uninstall game restart your computer and then reinstall the game now if nothing is working the last step is to update windows using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow 
this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on a windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel